was I have to uh, uh, turn to pray. Because even your prayer life now is affected. Yes. Since your mother Big passed. Yes. So let's uh, let your heart have peace. Yeah. What has happened is that let's move forward. So now she's afraid now because the husband is sick. No, I get anxiety whenever a family member is not here. I don't know what your husband will be well. Your husband will be. Mm-hmm. Let's on the floor. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name. Jesus for healing this man. Uh, I pray for more peace in this family. In the name of Jesus. You, my brother, be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hello, praise the Lord. My name is Vivian and I'm from Tanzania. What brought, what brought me here is that there are some questions of which I needed answers. Though I was not so sure, but also that was one of them. And I have some challenges at home, my family, my kids, my prayer life. So last year I lost my mother. I lost her after when the man of God came to Tanzania. I, I got a chance to see him and he told he prophesied about my mother's death but in the, he also we also prayed for her for healing but unfortunately she passed on so I had questions for myself that was it a will of God or was it so I just wanted a confirmation about my prayer life, it has been up and down. <laughs> yes, I've not, it has since, especially since the death of my mother, and I've been struggling a lot to pray. Sometimes I pray, sometimes I don't pray, like that. And my my husband also is sick, and I also had this challenge, so whenever someone is sick at my at my family, amongst my family members, I got anxiety. I start getting worried and about my son who is in school. I wanted to shift him school so I wanted to know to get God's direction. The death of my mom I can I I cannot I cannot really say how but I see the effect it has on me. One of the effects is my prayer life. And the anxiety I get whenever somebody's sick. Yes. So on one on one on one when I met a man of God we spoke about he asked me about the house where I'm living. So he prophesied about the house that a a a, a commercial a house for renting 
that we will build and he also prophesied that we will have another house and currently we were pl we were planning to build another house but we have not started yet or even planning to start okay planning to start so yeah he also talked about my worries that I was worried about my husband's sickness so we we prayed about it and also I, I we talked about my mother's death he was shocked and we prayed also about it i felt i felt good the questions i was asking myself but i got the confirmation from god so i'm happy grief is hard it's not easy but once you believe in god and you focus maybe you 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 let god take you through the grief the grieving session you shall pass well you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the apostle one on one i'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said when he saw you and that you please confirm it when the apostle saw me he asked me about my husband and he was asking about his career that he sees him traveling a lot and i said yes he travels so he also asked me about my doubts about him and they confirmed that that the my husband loves me so i shouldn't have any doubt and then we prayed about it and then we also confirmed about the business that he, he asked me if i want to do business i said yes and then he said that he my husband is is, is thinking of facilitating the business yes and how do you feel after a one on one session with both the apostle and prophet andres sumono I'm happy. I'm at peace. I thank God and I feel I feel I feel I'm I'm, I'm full of grace.